Hi folks, it's Skippy from Ontour Fishing Australia. So I'm doing one of my favourite methods of fishing here, that's trolling for flathead. So what I've got is I've got a spread of three rods on the last couple of hours of the of the falling tide in the hope of picking some flat up on the edge, net flathead up on the edge. Now what I've got is very important uh, with your flathead trolling to make sure that your lures are running at the right depth. So on the right hand side here, um, looking out, we've got little um, Orbiter 60 with 6 pound line braid and I've got just a shallow 1.4 metre diver. That's on the shallow side closest to the edge. Then behind me, with this bigger order here, I've got a deeper diver running in close to the boat that's only uh, less than a boat length away. It's a deeper lure, it's driving into the sand or mud in the hope that that'll stir up the sand or mud and attract some fish attention. And then on the outside, I've got a deeper diving lure because it's more towards the middle of the channel. So that's a sort of setup. Um, and I'm watching very closely the sounder to monitor that depth and edge. And also my speed, keeping it below about that 1.2 knots to um, in the hope of picking up a fish. Coming up to this bit of a drain running out here. I'll be very surprised if that rod doesn't go off soon. Just checking here, the other rod is still working. Those rods are still working. And we're true, we, oh, uh, hello, and we're on. We're on. So, that's a deeper diving lure, so. Pick that up. Now I'll just turn off this motor for a moment. And there it is, this is a, the bigger lure in the middle. So I'll just grab that net, try to keep the pressure on the fish. And there we have a nice flatty and in it goes. Now that's only a small fish but um, it's proven that it's works and I'm releasing them all today. So probably under the 40 but that's good stuff. Shows how technique works. Now just wet the rag, pick up that fish. just under 40 but let him go anyway. There we go. Good stuff. I'm keeping an eye too on my sounder, the map, when we've got lots of bait there. Lots of bait, something spooking that bait. So if that rod doesn't go off, I don't know, something's wrong. Um, keeping an eye on the map because you can see where the really, uh, it really shallows out or, or um, becomes exposed at low tide. And we've got the speed in knots, 1.3, depth 1.6 meters. So, Keeping an eye on your sounder. On this inside rod, we swap sides. So, just again, turn that motor off. Keep the pressure on this fish. So we got the shallower diver. Oh, it's only a little fish, but shallower diver on the shallower side again. And picked up this fish, grab the net, technique works. So there we are, he might be close to legal, going back anyway, but yeah, on the little Zeric Bulldog. Yeah. On the, on the little closest to the edge. Again, similar size, these high 30 fish aren't quite legal, but fun all the same. Just using the rod, swing him over to the net, and then he goes. Oh, and just dropped off. So there we go. Just another little fish, but 
proven that the technique's working. Back in you go mate. Oh, and away he goes. So again, here we are over the other side of the channel. Trolling, shallower diving lure close to the edge. And we've got the deeper dive, it looks like it's caught up there and we've just been caught up there, bit of weed. You see that stop nodding. So I'll just give that a few shakes to see if that's come off and it has. Sometimes you can give the shake and it'll come off, other times it won't and you need to bring it in. So keep an eye on that. Now one over there is nodding. So just trolling very close to this edge. So we are back trolling the other way now. And you can see I've got the rod angled up a bit higher because it's only about 0.8 of a metre. So I don't want that lure diving and banging around so much that'll twist and um, and get caught up. So in terms of trolling with or against the tide, Sometimes in these little drains I find you can go either way. Um, generally it's probably better to troll with the tide so because you know, the flatties will be facing towards it. But in these narrower smaller drains I find you can go either way and sometimes it's actually beneficial to go against the tide when you're when you're trolling too fast because you want that to be a slow walking pace. Just checking on that law. So we're getting up a bit quick there now. So I'll drop that back. I'll I'll turn the motor off for a moment or two to drop that speed back and start it up again. Now another thing you can do in trolling and your speed's gone a bit too fast is actually troll put a an uh, like a bucket behind the boat. Now I'm going to have to check that rod, uh, but throw a little bucket sort of behind your boat to again reduce your, your speed um, with that bit of drag. On again here now I'm keeping this engine going forward to keep the pressure on the fish. This time I've lost a couple of fish recently. I think I got him up close enough. The boat. Now it out. Again you see that lure is the one closest to the bank. It's generally the lure that gets the most fish. Here we go, there's another, looks like another keeper. And it is. On again here, keeping that pressure on. Fish, or in fact, I've got that in reverse. We'll pull that up. Another decent fish, I think. The rod's in the way. around it's another decent fish again no we've got the little more orange lure this time it's taking but again that lumen Lumescent colour. Just bring him around. No rush. Chopping doesn't matter. There we go. And there's another fish on the little Zeric Bulldog crank. What a great little lure these are. Let's turn that engine off. All these are in 1.2 to 1.5 meters of water. Again, that fish is probably he's probably just legal. It doesn't matter. I'm letting them go today. 
Um, and I had to think about it too when you're out fishing. You know, it's a great feeling. Um, you know, it's great to catch a feed, but sometimes I just go out and I say, you know what, I'm just gonna have a fish for fun today. Particularly in your, your local waters. Um, there we go, there's another fish that's about 46, 47. Um, let him go. And uh, yeah, good stuff.